Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection. I'm your host, Mike. Uh, today I'm going to do a uh, special uh, spotlight on a um, recent, well, it's not, it's newer to me, but um, I would say this came out uh, a couple years ago. Uh, let's see, I should know these things. Uh, when did Arrow release this? They released this in 2019, so it's a couple years old. They released really good box sets. Um, should be very, um, very uh, well aware of Arrow video by now. Uh, so in the spaghetti western realm, there was all kinds of movies made, uh, all kinds of uh, characters, uh, genres, uh, you know, the Clint Eastwood as the man with no name, um, you know, you got Django, you got the different characters, uh, which, you know, launched a sequels, and before you knew it, franchises, where one, um, one movie franchise in the spaghetti western genre was uh, the uh, Sartana collection, or the Sartana character. And um, that's what I'm covering today, the complete Sartana from Arrow Video. Uh, this is a really good set. Um, I've had it for a while, probably close to a year. I watched one movie and then um, I got sidetracked as I do often with movies. And um, I didn't pick up on it until recently, and um, I wanted to watch the movies and stuff before I did a video uh, to tell you about them. So I finally finished the uh, series, which went really quick. I watched a couple each night. Um, really impressed with the uh, this series. Um, a few actors associated with the Sartana character. Uh, of course, you got. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Juliana, well, not Juliana, Gemma. Um, Garco, what's his name? Oh, I always forget his first name. Um, da, 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 it says here, I should know this. Do, 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 do. What is his name? I always get it mixed up with. Oh, Gianni Garco. Gianni Garco. Uh, really cool character. Um, really watching these Sartana films, I really got to know him as an actor because I've only seen a few movies with him in it and he he really made he I mean he was tailor made for this role um it, halfway through the series though um he he wasn't in one movie and uh one of the movies um another very well respected spaghetti western actor legend now uh George Hilton covered um, the Sartana role, which uh, he did a really good job, and I was really impressed. Um, a lot of people, this series, I mean, from what I've heard, um, kind of like the first two, and then maybe some of the other ones aren't so good, but I really enjoyed each one of them. I mean, they, they each one had some really good uh, side characters, you know, some supporting actors, um, the directors. Um, I think most of the directors was the same um, same uh, director he kind of stayed with it um, but you know briefly about this I don't want to go off on a rabbit trail or tell you stuff that you know is not completely accurate but let me um, so basically you know like I said after you know Clint Eastwood made the man with no name uh, people were rushing to you know to to create more spaghetti westerns, uh, you had the good, the bad, and the ugly, so to speak, of movie making. Um, of course, everybody was looking for the Clint Eastwood type to star in their spaghetti westerns. Um, and uh, Gianni, Gianni Garco, if I'm saying his name wrong, I'm really sorry, uh, fit this role perfectly. Um, and uh, he would be in these these movies. He was kind of like uh, he he's been called everything um, everything he's been described as like a even a Count Dracula type character with a cape and stuff. And he's a expert card player. Um, 
just does card tricks. There's some cool op- there's an opening of one movie where it's just card tricks the whole role as the credits are coming on and he so he's an expert card player, poker player. Um he has this very mystique about him. He has some like gadgets. I don't know if you could even compare them to James Bond type gadgets, but he has some like tricked out things. He's got like a trademark gun that, you know, has been customized and just a really cool character. A lot of little nuances spread through these movies. Uh, was made it really interesting. Um, so let me just get to the movies and try not to do too much commentating. Um, let me see if these will be... I'm going to try to do them in order. I think these are in order. Okay. Okay, so we're in order now. So these are really nice releases. Um, each one has like a, on the supplements, like two interviews. Um, a couple of them's got some like a, like a video montage of some of uh, Zartana's. Uh, uh, greatest hits, you know, some cool scenes or some cool video features in there in the supplement. And the first movie is uh, If You Meet Sartana, Pray for Your Death, which is a really great movie, a great opening to this series. Um, each one of these releases has a dual artwork release. Uh, this one's really cool. I kind of flipped it to the yellow side. Um, He's kind of he's he's like a man with no name. He's kind of like Django. Uh, basically, he arrives in town, you know, and he gets mixed up with a villain of some sort, and you know, and everything. But uh, Paralini, uh, the director Gianfranco Paralini, uh, was responsible for a few of these movies. Um, uh, Juliana Carmino was another director. So the directors, I mean, I, out of all of them, I mean, I think the last one might be the weakest one. But um, I, I think by then they just kind of ran out of steam, you know, with this character. And the, I think the actor had done everything he could do to get to the end. So that's the first in the series. If you meet Sartana, pray for your death. Really good. The second up, uh, the second one is uh, I Am Sartana, Your Angel of Death. This one uh, in particular was really cool. Really love that artwork on there. Uh, this one's uh, directed by Juliana Carmillo. Um, basically, you know, you got you got, even got stuff like bounty hunters and stuff like that involved and. Uh, he's not exactly on the run, but he's you know he was mistaken as someone on the run, and there's been some really interesting things. I, I, I'm not even going to begin to go into everything to describe this to you or sell this series to you. All you gotta do if you love spaghetti westerns and you've ne- not checked out any of these, check out this box set because you got the best looking uh additions to these these have all been lovingly restored cleaned up uh, with extras and stuff uh the third one in the series with is interesting sartana's here trade your pistol for a coffin this is when uh george hilton would take over for um gianni garco uh for one movie and i think he did really really good in this movie uh but he, he almost fits uh fits him he almost looks like him sort of sort of you know he's got the hat on and everything uh, this one was uh i think this one was directed who was this directed by gosh i can't think of who directed this one i was thinking the same director stuck the same director stuck with the series all the way through but uh, Sartan is here. Trade your pistol for a coffin. This is George Hilton's only run as Sartana. And next up, uh, the fourth one, we get um, we get um, Juliana Garco. He's back. Have a good funeral, my friend. Sartana will pay. Really, really cool. 
love the artwork um, on these releases um, like I said each one has um, two supplements on each one uh, this one um, also the other thing is the score Bruno Nikolai uh, did the whole score uh, throughout you know the themes and stuff and musical themes throughout the series and uh, the last one like I said this was probably the weakest one of, of the of the five uh, light diffuse Sartana is coming uh, again really cool artwork on these each one is a dual release uh, in this one uh, Juliana Garco is looking a lot older and you can tell um, I mean in just a few years I mean this was you know 1970 71 or something but you could tell he i don't know if he was made to look old but he's got like gray in his mustache and he's got a mustache and he looks a little different but it's probably the weaker one but it's still a lot of fun um, i only watched it once but i really enjoyed it so maybe it'll grow on me throughout the years and i rewatch it uh, so light diffuse sartana is coming uh, scrape box set I would snatch it up while it's still out there before it goes out of print because you know a lot of these things will go out of print uh, before you know it and um, you, I got mine from Amazon you can it's still available from what I know I think I only paid maybe $40 for this but it's really really nice the complete Sartana from Arrow video I mean this is a awesome set to have on your shelf with their spaghetti westerns so with that said guys um i could say a lot about these movies i could go in depth probably and stuff but this would be really long and you you might get bored or not uh maybe not uh but just search out sartana do some research of course you're gonna have to deal with like django there's like a ton of remake of uh fake bogus ones that just somebody put the filmmakers put sartana on there in the title just to sell movie tickets um which is you know was very commonplace back then uh with the django movies the sartana movies and different ones and stuff so um there there was five official ones um stick with those first and um i'm not really i'm not really sure about the that some of the imitator ones um maybe maybe another episode we'll talk about the imitators but this is a great great box set check it out the complete sartana um and that's about it um give me a thumbs up if you like this video uh, as always comment let me know um maybe what's your favorite of the series sartana of the sartana series and um just uh make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already uh, so that's about it guys just a little video to show off this set um like I said, always do your research, find, uh, do some research on it before you start buying up everything that says Sartana on it. Uh, so uh, start with the complete Sartana and uh, you'll have a lot of fun. So next time guys, I am Mike from Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection and I say adios.